Welcome back, YouTubers. Today I'm going to do an experiment to explore the phenomena known as triboluminescence, which is basically light production when certain materials are either rubbed or broken. And in this case, we're going to use these lifesavers or wintergreen mints. It's known that when these are eaten in the dark, that it's possible to see light production while crunching these mints with an open mouth. Now, the amount of light produced is very, very low. It can be seen with the naked eye, but it probably can't be seen well with a camera. So what I planned to do was to get a bunch of these mints, put them in this coffee grinder, and grind them up at high speed and record the light output using a camera and with special software to augment the light production. The phenomena of triboluminescence means tribo is rubbing and luminescence is light. So triboluminescence really means light production by rubbing. And you can observe this, and I'm sure many have, on dark, dry winter's nights. If you take a sweater off or you're combing your hair with a plastic brush, you'll see multiple little sparks. And you can visualize these when it's dark enough. What happens is wintergreen, for some reason, and I don't exactly know why, but it acts as a special type of chemical that promotes charge formation when these uh, crystals of the wintergreen are broken. So if you, if you take a wintergreen mint and you break it, that uh, results in charge separation, such that one half becomes positively charged if you imagine these are multiple or millions of tiny little sugar crystals and one side becomes negative and the wintergreen kind of acts as a doping agent to augment this process. So as these um, charged crystals of sugar separate, you get an electrostatic discharge occurring between the broken pieces of crystal. And if there's enough of them, that's enough to produce visible light. And the phenomena is known as triboluminescence, or light from rubbing. So I'm gonna un unwrap these window greens, put them in this coffee grinder, and grind them at high speed, and record the light produced. So let's begin our experiment. To do our experiment successfully, I'm going to use this completely darkened garage. And right now it's night time, and the only light I've got is from this flashlight. Got the mints in the grinder. The cover's become a little bit scratched up, but we should still be able to see the light. Here's the grinder positioned. Light's out. Okay, now I'm going to start grinding and record the light. Here goes. Okay, done grinding. Here's the powder. I'm going to grind it some more. As you can see, there's very minimal light production once the wintergreen mints are completely broken up. The software I'm using from the Apple Store is Slow Shutter Cam, which enables low light photography. This software is extremely useful for light trails or low light, including starlight. Okay, here's another run with some fresh wintergreen mints. I did try the same experiment, as you can see here, with regular peppermint-flavored life savers, and the light production was way less compared with the wintergreen life savers. Let me just show you the difference. Okay, here's the light from Peppermint Lifesavers. Now, here's comparison with Wintergreen Lifesavers, and you can see how much more light is produced. Really interesting phenomena. This is how I positioned the camera. I used this stand and positioned it above the um, coffee grinder, as you can see here. 
I do thank you for checking into my humble but very messy lab here. And now, rather than grinding up and throwing away lifesavers, it's time to, it's time to eat some. So, uh, on that note, all the best, and thanks for uh, checking out this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, these, these mints are great.